So in this day and age, 32-bit and 64-bit Windows operating systems, there's not really too many difference anymore, but in mostly because Windows 11 only supports 64-bit, but there was a time where Microsoft basically gave us 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows. So how did you figure out whether your PC actually supported either that 32-bit system or that 64-bit system? And the thing that really came down to was essentially, you know, the system itself and that PC that was basically giving us that specific operating system. So essentially what happened was in, you know, many, many years ago, our PCs were 32-bit. They were basically around four gigabytes of RAM. And essentially what happened was, was that it didn't really use the RAM that efficiently. And essentially the 32-bit systems were kind of obsolete once the 64-bit systems actually came out. Now, their 32-bit system can, you know, access about 232 memory addresses. The 64-bit system could actually address and access 264 addresses. So there was a really big difference between those amount of, you know, addresses and systems that it can handle. And essentially, if you had a four gigabyte PC on both, the 64-bit system could actually handle that ARPing system better and more efficiently with that four gigabyte of RAM rather than that 32-bit system. So basically, the long story short, 64-bit systems can just basically handle more data and just more, you know, throughput from that system than the 32-bit system. Now, there may be some advantages for a 32-bit system. Maybe if you want to like a device that is like, you know, more efficient on power, maybe that would be one advantage. But for the most part, every single version of software out there, you know, especially our most hardware PCs that are coming out are mostly 64-bit because those are the ones that can probably handle more data. Now, the big thing for the most part as well is that, well, on the Windows side, which specific version of Windows do I pick? The 32-bit system or the 64-bit system? Now, on Windows 10 and below, you have the option and the ability of choosing different systems. On Windows 11, Microsoft has not supported 64-bit on that, so you don't really have the capability or the option of actually using and installing you know, Windows 11 on a 32-bit system PC. They've kind of cut that out from there. So now our only options are using it on a Windows 10, Windows 8.1, or Windows 7 or below. Now, once again, if you're basically running a 32-bit system on of Windows on your you know, PC, you will have to either find a way to convert your system to a 64-bit if you had a 32-bit you know, operating system installed on a you know, PC that supports it. So really, that's it. The features and everything are basically around the same thing. Again, it really just comes down to the power behind that specific operating system in that, in that PC. So if that Windows PC that you're using let's say it doesn't have, you know, let's say within that specific PC, it doesn't have that hardware specifications. Well, it's not going to be powerful enough to run that 64-bit operating system. That's why you have to choose that 32-bit system. But if you do have a 64-bit PC that's supported, that is the, it, basically every single PC that's came out in the last like 10, 20 years is going to be 64-bit. So you don't even really have to worry about it from that standpoint either. So the differences are 32-bit essentially is a lower end operating system that can run and, you know, kind of the same thing. But 64-bit allows you to run a little bit more efficiently and run a little bit more power from that specific standpoint right there. So that is, those are pretty much the main differences, to be honest. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.